For without you, there is nothing that we can ever effect in this world. I'd like to welcome you, my dear friend, my brother, my sister, and each and everyone who has been subscribing, sharing, commenting on my platform, the YouTube page. May the Lord richly bless you. I pray that the supernatural hand of the Lord may intervene in everything that you happen to do in this life in the name of Jesus. Um, today I'd like to share about the love of God. Actually, our love towards God. That's what I'd like to share today in the name of Jesus. As we discover or as we get back to our roots of worship. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. We bless the Lord for this special moment of time as we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This is what our souls is always longing for. Your soul is always longing to worship the great I am. It is the food for your soul. Whenever you worship God, you are natured in the spirit. Whenever you worship God, your spirit grows. It matures, you build actually your spiritual muscles as you worship the great I am. Your spirit is edified in the name of Jesus. And let's go to John chapter 14. It's going to be verse 15. We're going to share today in the name of Jesus. Just like we always do it on the moment of worship, we share a word. And I'm going to read the text that is in NKJV as the version for today. That is New King James' version of the Bible that we're going to read today in the name of Jesus. But before we read it, the Bible says that you should love the Lord your God with all your, your mind, your heart, and all your soul. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you should love God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Um, it is we find it hard to express our love towards God but today um, I'm gonna share something that I believe is gonna bless your soul in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God just like we always do it we don't worship God in vain actually we don't use our mind only our intellect has limitations that means we worship God with the spirit and in truth. That means you go deeper, you worship him in spirit and also in truth. That means we need we need the basis of the word of God in order to worship him in spirit and in truth. Um uh, like I told you some time back, the truth always resides in the heart. That means if you to worship him, you need to use your heart. Because it is desire truth from the inward parts, as he said in Psalms 51, that you desire truth from the, uh, the that is in the heart, and from the hidden parts, you desire to know wisdom. So that means truth resides in the heart. If you're to worship God, your heart has to fall in love with God. You have to fall in love with Him. And how can you fall in love with God? Bible says that our God loves they that love Him. So that means then you need to express your love to your God as you worship Him. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Say that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, and even your soul. That means your heart. Today I'm going to bless the Lord in the heart. Uh, the heart has to fall in love with a great I am in order for you to worship Him. And we've discovered uh, in John chapter 14, verse 15 and 16, the Bible says that if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and they will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. That means if you love God, then you need to love his commandments. You need to fall in love with the commandments of the Lord. God can only know that you love him if you keep his commandments. You need to keep the commandments of the Lord um, in order to, for you to fall in love with him. Uh, that means if he loves they that love him, 
whenever you fall in love with him as you keep his commandment that's the only way we can express the love of god actually that's the only way we can express our love towards god as we keep his commandments whenever you keep his commandments that means you're expressing your love to your god so as you show him your love in return he's gonna love you too in the name of jesus christ as the bible say that he loves they that love him hallelujah and hallelujah i told you that worship is falling in love you fall in love amen you fall in love with your creator i believe today i just want to share just a brief like half as i told you at the moment of worship apparently we are using a few minutes as we believe and trust the holy spirit and put some time to come maybe we can do go deeper in it for more minutes or maybe hours in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god but as per now i'd like to welcome someone if you need to accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior because the bible says there's no one who see god unless he has believed or has accepted jesus christ as his lord and his personal savior the bible says when you read john chapter 1 verse 12 that they that accepted him he gave him the right to become the children of the most high god so that means you need to accept him as your lord and your personal savior today if you need to accept him let me give you this opportunity as you add all these words together with me say father from today in the name of jesus christ i open up my heart welcome me my lord jesus christ as my lord and my personal savior from today i denounce every kinds of covenants that i involved myself in that are ungodly from today i accept jesus christ into my life to become my lord and my personal savior father from today eradicate my names from the book of the dead and write them in the book of the living in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you having confessed let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ you say it in your word when we read romans chapter 10 verse 10 that they that accepted you uh, and that man believe in this heart receive the gift of righteousness and confesses with the mouth receive the gift of salvation as that person has accepted you i pray for her in the name of jesus christ let her grow spiritually let her be edified and natured spiritually in the name of jesus the son of the living god that from today you may begin to overcome all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Pray for the Holy Spirit to indwell you in the name of Jesus Christ. May you conquer your territories. May you increase. May you grow in the knowledge of the Word of God. May you add advance in spiritual wisdom in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for saving the gentleman and for healing that pass that the sick person who's written right now pray for healing in your body in the name of jesus the son of the living god see you next time on our moment of worship next sunday in the name of jesus christ bye bye we'll meet again